But the British government has said there cannot be a march, and if there is, the, the army will intervene. Yes. Now, you know this. The British army, uh, the British government have said there cannot be a march. Now, this is obviously nonsense. Since the ban has been placed on parades, there have been a large number of marches up and down the country. Not quite like the marches you plan. There was a march in Derry last Sunday of over three and a half miles before there was any kind of intervention by the British Army. To talk about stopping marches in this way is, to my mind, a very dangerous procedure for the British government. But you if know the British government, If the British this. government feel that we are breaking the law in some way, let them take us into the courts and charge us with offences. I'm quite happy to face any court of law on that kind of thing. But you are breaking the law by marching. I am quite happy to break the law in that way. I am quite happy to face the courts about a possible charge. I am quite happy to face prison as a result of being convicted. The way to deal with this kind of thing is not by putting out the firepower of the British Army, but is to face the real political issues and to produce reforms. Mr. McShane, how responsible are you being, you and your small committee, in organising a march which you know will not be allowed to take place by the British Army? I don't, ex I don't accept that it won't be allowed to take place. Uh, what I accept is that the British Army will attempt at some stage along the route to stop the march. The IRA men were brought to Bally Bay District Court, which sits on the first Thursday each month under a security guard unique in the town's history. Amongst them, and handcuffed, Martin Meehan, the provisional IRA leader, charged with having firearms in his control. Public. Hands in the courthouse, Meehan was also charged with being a member of an illegal organization, the IRA. More than 200 Garda were on duty, but there were no incidents in the town. Standing to attention, Meehan and his colleagues refused to recognize the court and were returned to Dublin prison on remand. Gerald Seymour, ITN, Bally Bay.